Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Midnight Suns video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be my actual hands-on impressions and honest thoughts with this game. Thanks to 2K for sending me a review copy of the game. I was able to get my hands on it, put in a decent amount of hours, and now I want to give to you guys my hands-on impressions and show off some gameplay for Marvel's Midnight Suns. Before we do so, though, if you're looking forward to this game, if you want to get your hands on it, come release. Well, then scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button, share your hype with me, and let's get this video here to 1,500 likes. And with that being said, let's jump into this. Okay, so where do I start? Marvel's Midnight Suns is a very different kind of game. Full disclosure, I've never played XCOM, I know about it, but I've never been interested in that style of game. However, I've always been open to trying out new games, and thankfully, with the large cast of beloved Marvel heroes, this game, Midnight Suns, has reeled me in. And I'll say this much, when you actually get into the gameplay, it's quite addicting. And that's even considering that I'm not very good at the game right now. I feel like I still have a lot more practice to put in, but I'm motivated to continue playing and getting better. The problem, however, is that Midnight Suns is kind of split into two games. One game is the strategy card game that most of you have come to expect, and the other, which I feel we spend way too much time with, is the third person character building slash relationship foster experience that happens in the hub world known as the abbey when you're in the thick of it dishing out special moves utilizing the environment to take down the enemies on the battlefield or even assisting your fellow heroes it's surprisingly fun i actually quite enjoy jumping in with characters like spider-man wolverine ghost rider magic and many more editing their deck to maximize damage or support and aiming for that three star score when i complete a mission then just rinse and repeat but then i'm returned to the abbey and things start to feel a bit uninspired any exploration outside of the actual castle will get you lost immediately due to the entire forest looking the same in any direction that I turn my head to. There are some ideas that kind of work, like interacting with your teammates, trying to build relationships with them, which subsequently buffs them when you actually go out into a fight and have them on your team. But even then, I'm never fully invested in the actual interaction with the characters, but more so the rewards that come from it. The voice acting also isn't the greatest, and it doesn't help that you actually can't customize the voice of of your created character, which is such a huge missed opportunity. But there are some standout performances like Yuri Lowenthal, who's back as Spider-Man in this game, which is kind of cool, actually. And then also, I presume Steve Blum is doing the voice of Wolverine, although I don't think we have actual confirmation on that. But Wolverine sounds like the Wolverine I remember, so I'm assuming it's Steve Blum. And then we have Michael Jai White in there as Blade, which is also pretty fantastic. So yeah, a couple of standout performances, but all in all, not the greatest voice acting in the world. And there's just so much to do in the Abbey after after each mission, when all I really want to do is just jump back into another mission. It all just becomes very tedious. It feels like a chore. And the cherry on top is that there's a very basic character creation in this game. One of the biggest pushes in marketing for Midnight Suns is that you're creating a brand new character known as the Hunter. And when you jump into the game, you're gonna be able to create this character from the bottom up and make them your own. But as I mentioned just a second ago, you can't even customize the voice of the Hunter. So when I'm going through and I'm making my character, I feel like it's all on rails. The Hunter just doesn't work for me, honestly. And to be really blunt, I think we need to put a full stop to the idea of creating a new hero in a licensed superhero game. I don't want to feel like Wolverine or Iron Man or Spider-Man, etc. I want to play as those heroes. And outside of some crucial cards in the Hunter's deck that keep my heroes healed and healthy during a fight, I found any opportunity I could to make my team strictly Marvel characters. There's also a marketplace in the game, and yes, there's microtransactions and tons of suits to pay for with real money and i know for some people this won't be a problem as it's strictly cosmetic from what i can tell at least but there's also some other people i know and understand will have a problem with this will not be a fan of this stuff being in the game and i really mean this as a good thing midnight suns feels like an older game. It feels like the same experience that you would get out of something like Marvel Ultimate Alliance or like the X-Men games from back in the day. There's a huge cast of Marvel characters. There's tons of lore in here, several corners of the Marvel universe that you'll get to explore and have fun with. And I dig that. It may not be the most revolutionary leap in graphical fidelity or narrative design, but it's good fun and almost gave me a sense of nostalgia from those older top-down Marvel games that used to be the norm 10 plus years ago. I know it sounds like I'm saying this game 
feels dated, but in my head canon, this game feels like a spiritual successor or even an homage to those kinds of games. I also kind of wish that the game was a bit darker in tone when it comes to the story. I feel it doesn't really capture the essence of the Midnight Suns from the comics. There's a lot of these lighthearted interactions and plenty of quips from the characters, especially when you're fighting. Every character has something to say when they're getting hit. They always have to quip back at the people hitting them. It's especially weird when one of my heroes is at like a critical level of health and then they get hit, maybe not to getting knocked out, but close to it. And they're still like, is that all you got? It's like, dude, you're about to get knocked out. Why are you quipping still? I don't know. Again, I haven't played through the whole story, so it could get darker. There could be some better moments as I progress. There's a couple of fun aspects of it, specifically the stuff with Spider-Man and Venom. I thought that was awesome. And when you finally get introduced to Wolverine, that stuff's pretty great too. So it's not all bad. It's not all just lighthearted fun, but there's plenty of it. And I think it doesn't work for a game that's supposed to be based off the Midnight Suns, which is a darker corner of the Marvel Universe. And also the cast here is quite a few Avengers. I'm not the biggest Midnight Suns fan. I didn't grow up on this team, but it feels like there's a lot of characters that are definitely not from the Midnight Suns of the comics that show up and are a part of the team in this game. They've also announced the DLC, and I think it's characters like Storm, Deadpool, that's definitely not a Midnight Sun, Venom, but also it's Morbin time. He's coming. Morbius is on his way. He's going to be a part of the game. And I mean, he is a part of the Midnight Suns in the comics, so that's pretty cool. But like, where's the Punisher? Where's Moon Knight? What's going on? These are characters that a lot of people love and would expect would show up in this game. Or heck, if you want to pick characters that weren't a part of the Midnight Suns, why not go for characters that would work to be a part of the Midnight Suns? Like Daredevil is a great candidate for this game, and I hope that they're considering that character for future DLC. I also want to mention that I was playing this game on PC. I have a 3070 in my rig, and I had to tinker around with the settings to get it running consistently, because even running the settings on high, I was having a lot of choppiness and quite a few frame drops, which is something that I wouldn't have expected from a game like this, because it honestly doesn't seem like it's the most demanding game when it comes to performance. I mean, it's not an open world game. The Abbey doesn't even come close to some of the bigger open worlds that you've seen in other superhero games that perform just fine on PC. And even when you're on the battlefield and you're in combat, the actual areas that you're fighting people on are relatively small. So I'm not sure what's going on here that's requiring so much from my PC. I'm very interested in trying this game out on my PS5 to see what the performance looks like there. And then I also want to see what the performance ends up looking like when this game does release on last gen consoles, which is going to be at some point in 2023. And I'll also mention that the frame drops and the choppiness, it wasn't constant. I fixed up the settings and it's run relatively smoothly ever since, but it was a little alarming that a game that doesn't have a massive scope and scale was having so many problems in the first place. There's still a couple of weeks until launch, so I'm assuming by the time the game is out there in the wild, a lot of these issues that I have have been ironed out. The good news is overall, even with the few hours that I put in, I want to jump back in and play more of Midnight Suns. I want to see how the story unfolds, and I definitely want to keep practicing and getting better at the game. When I'm in combat or crafting new cards to jump back into combat with, Midnight Suns scratches a very particular itch. I just hope that the downtime in between missions decreases the further that I get into the story. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my thoughts on Marvel's Midnight Suns. I now want to kick it to you guys, though. What say you? Sound off with your thoughts in the comments. Are you still looking forward to this game? What's the one thing you're most excited to try out? I want to know what you guys have to say in the comments, of course. Please keep it civil. And with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. It would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.